in today's video, we're going to have a look back at one of the best games ever created, especially around Christmas time. This game starts off when around Christmas time. So I thought Christmas themed, let's do it. Christmas just ran around the corner. So with this game, it is in the Mafia Trilogy. It is the second one in the Mafia Trilogy and the best one in the Mafia Trilogy. It is so good that I had to go back and play, play it for you guys, show you the highlights, show you me getting every single trophy. So if you guys want to be along the ride with me, I'm going to have a little synopsis for every little part that I get the tro trophy on. So when I get to chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, we're going to have some funny clips, stuff like that. If some chapters don't have funny stuff, I'll skip that chapter to show you me getting the trophy. So make sure to leave that like and hit the subscribe button. Let's get straight into this instant classic. To start off the game, he's having a look back on the first days of when he came to America over from Sicily. This is the prologue of the game. He's going to show you him getting off the boat to America, show his me. background, and we're going to see Just what happened. Let's go straight into the first trophy. Now we are unlocking the first trophy. We have to get five headshots in quick succession. That's one, that's two, that's number three. And number five right here, he's backing up, backing up. Shoot him in the head. Hairdresser. That is the first trophy we're going to unlock. Kill five enemies in rapid succession with a headshot. Here's where the first chapter ends. What? They give up. The war is over. And that is where we unlock our second trophy, which is Viva La Resistianza. Complete chapter one. Let's go on to chapter two. But look at this. The first thing we see in the second chapter, we see a beautiful big breasted red haired chick looking our way you know Vita wants to smash that now to get this third trophy we wake up in our mother's house talk to her walk at her door and we see someone harassing our sister as you guys can see Vita's sister is a pretty woman so here you go this guy in a trench coat and a hat pushing our sister you know what you gonna do in real life you see your sister getting pushed around you go in there and you fight him so we're going to knock this bum out. Come here. You know he's bald underneath that hat. So we're going to knock his bald, eight ball head ass onto the floor. So this is where we start our little controls. Try to get the feel of the game. Obviously, I'm going to get bashed around a little bit. But let's get straight into it. Let's start knocking this bitch around. Come here. Couple of, I don't know why she's running in front of me. But I'm going to quickly knock this bum out. He's getting a couple of cheap shots in. But this is where I come in and knock his bitch ass out. And get on the back. You know you love being on your back, bitch. Just like your mother on the corner. Yeah. On your back again. Get up. Mm. Kick him right in the chin. Make him bleed. And with that, we unlock our third trophy out of 48. Big brother. Protect Francesca. Knocking that bitch out. And we keep our sister safe. As you guys can see, as I said before, she's all right. You know what I mean? And this is how we get our fourth trophy. Now, how to get the fourth trophy? You see these two married couples fighting because he couldn't fix the car. So, you know, we had a real man to come and fix the car. And we'll fix her car real quick, helping a damsel in distress. Let's see if she gives that ass up. She gives some ass up, you know what I mean? We win. Let's see, she's getting a little bit close. She's touching her head. Nothing, just rub me down the side. Like, can I have your number? You know, who cares if you've got a husband? That's how we unlock our fourth trophy, a real gentleman. Help the woman fix her car in home sweet home. After getting blue ball for fixing that girl's car, we go see two flawumptuous booties with big breasted women. We laid, you know, Vito laid that pipe out of getting blue ball from the other woman. This is where we're getting our next trophy, which is tuned ride. Upgrade one of your cars by one level. And this is another trophy we're going for, is unlocking every Playboy magazine. And this is the first Playboy magazine I can show you because it's showing you minimum, yeah, minimum nipple, minimum breast. So I can actually show you that. Can't show you all of the other ones because obviously I'll get banned. Because it does show too much nipple, too much ass, too much titty, too much whatever. Now we're gonna steal the car for our boy Mark hey, Bruski, one of Joe's friends. This is one of the first actual missions in the game that actually is a little bit difficult because you had to steal the car off these guys. So you have to kill these two guys really quick. So we're gonna shoot this guy. But my aim is like Russell Westbrook from downtown. You know I'm bricking that. I, I actually hit him. You know, one out of ten shots is gonna go in. You know what I mean? Gonna keep shooting until you make a shot. Gonna shoot this guy twice because he keeps ducking and weaving. He's behind Russell Westbrook as well. The absolute bin. Absolute dumpster and he's running he's the third guy the third and final guy i have to move. and once i have shot this guy to death we get his car and we drive all the way back to mark bruski and we get the next trophy called back in business do your first job for mike bruski obviously he has to fix joe's jacket now we're going to find another playboy magazine i could show you this one as well because it's showing the minimum boot now we have to beat up these workers to get money for the barber so we can unlock the next trophy so we push this guy around a little bit don't want to push an old man around he might have a heart attack 
and he may be on his back for the rest of his life. So now we're going to find one more guy because I pushed around three people, and here he is. The big man himself. He is leaning, and I knock his bitch ass out. He gets up for one more shot, kicking right underneath the chin. He spills blood, and that's how easy. This is what Vito says right here. Okay. Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Yeah, Vito ain't stuffing around, man. And that's how we unlock our next trophy. You see that bold bitch right there, Manu Ginobili. He who pays the barber. Now to unlock the eighth trophy, we have to go around and knock at these guys to get our gas stamps. Now with the gas stamps, we have to go sell them to seven different servos or petrol stations, whatever you want to call them. I'll call them the servo because I'm from Australia. We knock out the first guy. We've got the next guy sitting down having a little bit of a read. Probably reading a Playboy magazine. And look how glitchy this is. You know my game always has all the glitches. And there's a Playboy magazine. I didn't pick that up. And here we go straight to the vault and get our gas stamps. Now we have to get these gas stamps really quickly without getting seen to unlock this trophy. So that's why we have to go around, sneak around. You know, it's like 1 a.m. in the morning. You don't want to wake up your parents to go get a snack out of the fridge. Anyone to sneak around, don't want to get caught. So you go really, really quiet. Be quiet like a little mouse. Get out them. And then once we've done that, we get out cleanly, go over this fence, and we unlock our next trophy. Now, this trophy was a little bit difficult because I had to restart the game because, you know, glitches. And we unlock the professional trophy. To unlock the next trophy, we have to go sell them gas stamps to seven different servos in the time limit. Had to go and stop for some petrol. Yes, in this game, you actually have to go fill up your car if you drive for too long. And here is the last servo I went to to sell my gas stamps. You get $100 per gas stamps that you sell to a different service. So that's $700 that you earn from this mission and this trophy. This is like the, the chapter mission. This one was actually pretty difficult because you have to get underneath the time limit and it's on hard difficulty, so you got a little bit less time than on normal difficulty. And once I drive out of here and get cleaned up by this oncoming traffic, we should unlock our ninth trophy, which is the mailman. The mailman is unlocked by selling all gas stamps before the time runs out. The next trophy you unlocked was called the price of oil. That's after finishing this chapter. So complete chapter three, and that's how we get our next trophy. And we also got night shift. Complete chapter four. I didn't show anything out of chapter four because there was really no highlights. Let's skip to chapter five. Chapter four was a little bit dull, a little bit of a filler chapter. You know what I mean? Some things happen. But here we are at Joe's apartment. We are waking up after a bit of, you know, laying that pipe, baby. Oh, did we lay the pipe? I think Cho laid the pipe, so but, you know, way, she's offering it up. She's calling me doll. Let's walk around yeah. to the building, you know, Maybe be a kind time. gentleman. You know what I mean? You're going to be a kind gentleman for this lady. And as you guys can see, this she runs in the back of this guy. This guy's being an absolute prick. So we have to lay him out. We have to knock this bitch out. Come here. You knock it out. I'm going to knock you out. I'm trying to talk to a lady like that, huh? Nah, nah, nah. Especially when she's thick like that. Get knocked out, bitch. Get, on your, get off your back. Ooh, kicked him underneath the chin. He is bleeding everywhere. And that's how we get some punani. Thanks, some pussy. And as you guys can see, she wants me to go to her house for a piece of pie. You know what that means. It's like the saying of when I come over for a cup of coffee. We're going to say no, not right now. But you know we're going to go there later. And lay that thing. And look at her sneaking into her ear. And, ooh, she's flirting. She rubs her ass in your dick. And then you got a lesson in manners. That is the next trophy. Show that you know how to treat a lady. Show that you know how to treat a lady. This is the next one. And this fat prick, this obese mammoth pig, aka Los Polos, as you guys can see, he looks just like Los, if you ask me, who shoots our boy Henry. So now what we're going to do? Going to lay him out. Look at Fatso. Yeah, Los. Los Polos. <laughs> he got laid out. Poor little Fatso. Poor little Fatso. And now we, have to, now we get the next trophy, which is called Good Spirits. Complete chapter 5, so we have to do there. Kill the fat man and get out of there. Now, this is the next chapter. We are in jail. We have to clean some urinals. And then this fat man comes and tries to get our booty hole. They're going to try to run a train on your boys. Ain't letting that happen. If you go to jail, don't drop the soap. Don't go to jail in the first place. Can't let this fat prick and his mates try to take advantage of you. So you know what we have to do? We have to knock him out into the next week. Make sure he can't get up. Because Fatso, he's got a little pecker and can't get any women. So, knock him out. Fatso, man boobs, on his back where he belongs. And here comes his other little boyfriend. Knock him out. Now we go here, and this is another one. If you guys remember, this guy is a real prick. So he's going to try to stab us and try to kill us, try to shiv us. But we're going to overpower him. You know, you know what that's like. 
big veto. He's way too strong, way too big. I'm going to have to knock this guy out in this little cutscene. Kick him in the balls and then slice his neck. Oh, that would feel good to slice his neck after him trying to you. So you get him back, a bit of self-defense. He's on his back permanently, never get up. And a damn, he ain't getting up from that. You've got the next trophy, time well spent. Complete chapter six. And here we go in the next chapter. We have oh, our boy getting a blowy in front of us at the strip club. Oh, and that's how that one ends. Okay. We go bury a dead body and we unlock complete chapter seven. And then we also get the wild ones, complete chapter eight. There was really no, no highlights in that chapter. Oh. So I skipped it once again. And now we have this one where we're going to buy an expensive suit and we get sharp suitor. Sharp suitor is a buy your first luxury suit. Now we get another one called Man of Honor, which was complete chapter 9. No real highlights in that one either, so I skipped over it. Now this is the next chapter we got. Fully upgrade your car. So what I did was quickly repair it. Quickly put up the basic tuning, sports tuning, and there it is. Dream handling. Upgrade your car. Full, fully maxed to max level. That's the next trophy we got. Now for the next trophy. Joe's little friend, his little man, he's mentoring him, gets shot. And he's left there. Poor, poor little kid. Now we're going to have to act our revenge and kill this SOB. Because Clementi deserves to be murdered. He deserves to be put down. And let's go chase him down. Shoot the back of him. Try to hit him off. It's like Alan knew all this little bit. The cars are similar. It's like the similar time, like 1940s. And we've got him. And now we're going to watch this cutscene. I'll be back after this cutscene. That's cut scene. the end of him. Can't be sure unless we check. This is for Marty. After doing that, murdering that guy, we go here. Joe's mate got shot, as you seen earlier. He got a little bit too drunk and killed the bartender by accident. So now we have to go and bury the bartender and come back to finish the chapter. So we go here. We crush the car with the dead body in the back. We have to go up these stairs, although it's a little bit difficult for me right now. We click this button, if I can click it properly, and there it is, gonna crush that car, and we should unlock our next trophy, which is called Hey Joe. Trophy to unlock Hey Joe is called Clean Up After Joe, so once he kills that guy. Next one is called Checking Out, is complete chapter 10. Now in chapter 11, our mate from the prison who's had our back and made sure we survived in prison, they're trying to, they're trying to knock him off, so I had a little bit of trouble trying to get this done. Now you have to get this Playmore magazine, you see a little bit of booty, I might have to highlight that out. But you have to hide in this basket Jeez. to get this secret cutscene which we're going to let play out. Tight is tight. <clears throat> Alright, go ahead, Leo. Damn it. Shh, Leo. I'm too old for this shit. I'm down with you. This guy don't kill me, you Come and that crazy right guy. Let's weird. go. So what are you gonna do now? Well, first, let's get out of here. No arguments here. Fucking shit! Which gives us this missable trophy called Wake Up Call. We only can get this if you know how to do it okay. properly. We'll look up a walkthrough before you do that. Help Leo out of a tricky situation. Now we've got our sister crying to us because her husband is beating her around so you know what we have to do go stick up for our sister one more time Vito's fine ass you know what i mean pretty good sister you know i rate her a seven or an eight out of ten have to go and knock some bitches out you do the same for your sister you do the same for your mother your cousin whatever if you see a woman getting beaten around you go stick up for her and you go lay them out and do it for her his name's Eric. Listen, hey, hey. I don't know any Eric's. Sounds like a bitch boy name. We're gonna see him cheating on her right here. You see your, sis your sister's husband cheating on, it, cheating on her? Eric. With a bimbo? You know you have to knock him out. Because look at him. He's trying to lay that pipe, but ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, not happening. Eric. Not in my house, man. We just gave him the one two combo with an uppercut. He glitches up into the sky. And we beat him up again. And we give him the nice little knee to the chin. Consider this a warning. You touch my sister again, I will fucking kill you. All right? Yeah. From now on, you're gonna stay home. Stay off the dope. Stop the drinking. 
and make sure she's fucking happy. If I ever, ever hear she's not happy, I'll find you and finish the fucking job. You got it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, everybody, party's over. And there won't be any more partying with this guy again, ever. Unless you want me to come back and do the same to the rest of After watching those cutscenes, our sister wants nothing to do with us right now. I don't know why we stuck up for her and got her, her husband, you know, to man up and stop being a cheating prick. And now this is how we get our next next trophy, which is we're going to have to go to bed right now. And now when we go to bed, something sinister happens. Something that's unprecedented. We have three guys rocking up in different cars and burning Vito's house down for no good apparent reason. But we're going to find out in a, in a minute why. We have to run out in our underwear, in a woman beater, and jump out of this little window here, out of the bathroom, and then we can't get shot because you know they're gonna be hounding us. I don't know how he gets out of this alive, but they're burning his house down. Back then, it's probably like a ten thousand dollar house, five thousand dollar house. Right now, it's probably like one to three million dollar house. Right now, you know the house prices are jacked up. Have to run in our tidy whities basically. Try to run around. Don't let any neighbors see you because they see you there. They can see the outline, and they want to be out, out here getting shamed just in case he's got a little pecker. You know what I mean? And then we're going to drive to the next one, which is called Rich, Get Rich or Die Flying. Get all wheels off the ground. And then we get our next trophy called Our Good Friend from Chapter 11. And I get a glitch right here. As you guys can see, the hat is glitching. I always get all the glitches. I don't know why I'm always getting all the glitches, but every one of my games has all the goddamn glitches. Now we're going to go here, Henry wants us to go around and sell crack cocaine, so we go see this guy, and this guy goes and gives us the money, we borrow the money off this goggled eyed prick with no hair, and here comes his son to deliver us the cash. Now once we have delivered the cash, we go to Mr. Wong, and Mr. Wong is going to give us the crack cocaine, we give him the money, and after we've paid the money, we have a taste test of the, of the product, we also weigh the product to make sure he's not handling us, it's a pound per package, per bag, test it out, Henry gonna test it out real quick, and now once we've tested this out in Mr. Wong, which looks a little bit sus, if you ask me, and we complete the chapter called Chasing the Dragon, which the trophy is complete chapter 12. Now this is something really, really sickening, I want you to watch this cutscene because it actually is pretty sick, and look what these, these Chinese guys do to Henry, it's actually pretty brutal. Shit, that's Henry! <laughs> What the fuck are they hitting him with? Get on me! Oh, he got sliced. He got diced. Like chop suey, Joey said. And we're gonna clean these guys up. Now, if you want to murder someone like that, they have to do something to you really bad. That's a painful death. Getting a little, like, little sticks, a little knives, and just stabbing him in every single section. I don't like that. That's a brutal, brutal death. And look at this. Look how he's ended up. Stabbed in the face, the eye, the abdomen. At least they put it up above his waist. And we see who it is. It's that bitch Wong that we just paid all that money to. And we got all these crack cocaine. We're selling it. We're feeding his pockets. Feeding our pockets. We're going to pay that guy back. I don't know how we're supposed to pay the guy back without Henry. But let's have a look what happened in this next section. Because, hey, who knows? Now we go to the facility of Mr. Wong. And we see him right here. We have to do something about this. I'm going to show you a cutscene here right now. Watch this cutscene, what Joe does. If you don't tell us, I'm going to splatter your yellow brains all over this fucking room. If I told you, I'd be dead anyway. Fine, your choice. Are you crazy? What you want to do, let him go or something? We could have gotten more out. After Joe splattered his brains all over the wall, we get chop chop. Complete chapter 13. Now, if you played Mafia 1, this cutscene right here, this trophy that you get to unlock, is a great trophy because it's a throwback to the first game. And I really want you guys to watch this cutscene. Obviously, I'm showing you cutscenes that I think are really relevant to the game, relevant to the plot story, and I think are really highlighting how good this game is. Let's watch this cutscene real quick. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards.
After cleaning up Tommy Angelo, the Mafia 1's protagonist, we get the Mafia Never Forgets trophy, which is called Pay a Visit to an Old Friend. And now this is the next trophy. We are here at this guy's facility. This is the guy that murdered our father. So obviously we're going to have to get a little bit of payback. He wanted us to stick up his workers and make them go back to work after him firing someone after they broke both their hands. So we can't let that slide. So what we're going to do here is team up with the workers and get this fat slob and his bald-headed, managed nobly haircut head out of this game. Can't let that happen. If someone kills your father, you have to get him back. Obviously, if you don't want to go eye for an eye, not much you can do because the cops won't do anything because they're useless. But here we go. Fatso is about to be laid out. And let's go straight into the fight. After fighting Steve and his goons and winning, we're going to see this fat prick. I'm going to shoot him up. Clean that fat, big-titted, pin dick up. And there we go. We got our next trophy. The trophy is called Out for Justice. This trophy was a pretty good one because we got the guy who killed our father. And it says what, to, what it means to be a skeleton. And here is the next trophy. We're going to stick up five different shops in under five minutes, which is called Stuck Up. And then we get another trophy, Men at Work. And that is for completing Chapter 14. That were the highlights in Chapter 14. Now, this is the final chapter in the this game, the, the last game, part yeah, of the game. I want you to watch this cutscene, I'll be back after the cutscene. Hey, old man, what are you doing back? Just get in the damn car. Now. And you are? This is our friend, Mr. Chu. All right, so what the hell's going on? What is this? This is about you. You fucked up good, didn't you? Started a fucking war. Got no idea what you're talking about. Don't fuck with me, boy. I've probably forgotten more about this business than you'll ever learn. Half our guys are dead, half of Mr. Chu's guys are dead, and now the feds are breathing down everybody's necks. Because of you. Leo, listen. You listen. If it wasn't for me, you would have already been taken care of. So you're gonna listen to what I have to say, and you're gonna listen good. What you did in Chinatown. That was because of that cocksucker Henry, right? You know who he was working for when he died? You mean when he was butchered? He was working for the feds. He was a fucking rat. That's why Mr. Chu's people did what they did. And that's why the feds are going after Carlo now. But I don't forget my friends, Vito. You did for me, so I did for you. I called in a few favors. Got you one chance to make this right. Okay, I'm listening. You're gonna get rid of Carlo. It was all a favor. And if I refuse? You die. Frank and the rest of the commission want you dead. So does Mr. Chu. And to top it all off, you vouched for a rat. You think Carlo's gonna let that slide? You're a dead man walking. <sighs> when? Now. Every minute we wait is another minute we give to the feds. He's holed up at that observatory of his. You know, something's up. Carlo Falcone is a lot of things, but stupid ain't one of them. All right. Stop the car. Remember, kid, this is your last chance. Wow, look who it is. This is who they send? This is an insult. What'd they tell you, Vito? Take care of me and all's forgiven? You really think they're just gonna let you walk after everything you did? Then again, chumps like you never do think about the big picture. But your buddy Joe understands, don't you, Joe? What the fuck is this? I could ask you the same question. Loyalty's a funny thing, huh, Vito? No such thing as friendship in this business. Didn't your old pal Leo teach you that while you're sucking his cock back in the can? <laughs> you're just a fucking pawn, Vito. It's all you ever were. When are you gonna realize Joe, that? you just gotta trust me. You think I give a shit about the feds? All those tired old fucks on the commission? They're using you, Vito. Just like Clemente used you. Just like I used you. Just like that rat fuck Henry used you. You vouch for that piece of shit. Brought him into my house. And now, you dumb fuck, you're gonna pay for it. Now, Joe. Hey, if you're gonna pull that trigger, 
do it already. What are you waiting for? Vito. Let's shoot this cocksucker. Remember what we talked about, tree. Joe. You're gonna throw One. all that away? Do it! Two. Now! I knew my best friend Joe wouldn't betray me. Now we have to go and kill all of his goons and get the Mafia boss. I'm gonna throw a couple of grenades, a couple of Molotov cocktails at this guy. He is the actual Mafia boss. If you've watched The Sopranos, he's basically Tony of the whole game. So we have to quickly lay him out and watch this cutscene. You know something, Carlo? For the last 10 years, all I've done was kill. I killed for my country. I killed for my family. I killed anybody that got in my way. But this one... This one's for me. Fuck. You. Fucking prick. After finishing him off, me and Joe are going to quickly go finish the game. They're going to get all the other trophies, the miscellaneous trophies for you guys. So if you made this fun in the video, make sure to leave that like and hit the subscribe button because I'll do more of these videos. This is the last cutscene in the game. So I'm going to let you guys go ahead and watch it with What the hell is this? It's all right, Joe. Is it done? It's done. All right, then. Looks like a celebration is in order. Come on. Let's head to the cat house. Sounds good to me. Come with me, Vito. There's more we need to talk about. All right, we'll see you over there. All right. So what's the big secret? Hey, 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 what the hell's going on? Where are they taking Joe? Sorry, kid. Joe wasn't part of our deal. And that's the ending. Pretty sad ending. We don't know what actually happens to Joe, but in Mafia 3, it does show you a cut. I'll talk about it in a second. We get the trophy called Top Nut. Finish the tro story on hard difficulty. We also get Made Man. This is the next trophy we get, which is called Finish the Story on Medium Difficulty or Higher. And we got a third trophy, which is called Finish Him. Finish what you started. So that is the three trophies that you unlock at the end of the game. And if you guys want to know, Mafia 3, they did show at the end that Joe is still alive. But no one actually knows that that's actually Joe. But I don't like how it finishes because Joe was a really good guy and I really like him in this story. The story was really amazing. But let's go on to the missable trophies, this miscellaneous trophy. Let's go straight into that. The first miscellaneous trophy I get is Ladies Man. Go around and find every single Playboy magazine. You can see a little wet t-shirt. You can see a little bit of a nipple. May have to highlight it out. If I didn't, enjoy this is the next miscellaneous trophy that i am going to unlock we have to go and sell five high-end vehicles to derek's obviously we already derek's not in the game anymore so have to go back in the time and we get the trophy called exporter sell five de vehicles to derek at the dock this is the next miscellaneous trophy we are going to go and unlock we have to go and crush five vehicles at mike brewski's and this is the last car i have to go and deliver to mike brewski can be any car which is called Proper Scrapper. Sell five vehicles to Mike Bruski at the sc scrapyard. Now, the next miscellaneous trophy is you have to go into 30 different vehicles, which is called Petrol Head. Now, I had to unlock that. It's going to go into 30 different vehicles. Drive at least 30 different vehicles. You get like 10 throughout the game. Then we've got the next trophy, which is called Cruise Control, which is keep any vehicle at 30 miles per hour or over for five or more minutes. Now, for the next one, which is called One Careful Owner, where you drive 50 miles in one singular vehicle, which took a little bit of time. The next trophy was the biggest pain in the ass. You had to go and find 189 wanted posters around the map, and some of them were glitching. This took me at least five hours to find all these posters, by the way, which is the next trophy I want to talk about, which I unlocked, which is called Card Sharp. Find every wanted poster around the storyline. That was a pain in the ass. Here's the next trophy called Petal to the Metal, which you have to drive at 125 miles per hour in one single car, which you have to find a certain car to unlock this trophy. The next trophy, we have to go and melee 30 different people on the map. So just went to the wharf and just go and melee them, knock them all out, and we unlock our next trophy, which is called Knucklehead, from meleeing 30 different enemies 
on the map. Here's the next trophy while I was editing, I forgot to include this one, which is called the Enforcer. Kill 50 different enemies. Also forgot to include this one, which is called Collector's Item. Find at least one collectible in the game. This is what I got in the first chapter, but I forgot to edit it in there. And this is the next trophy that I unlocked, which is called End of the Rainbow, which is settle the score with the Irish once and for all, the guys that burnt down Vito's house early in the map. And here is the last trophy that I have to unlock. The finale of all the trophies. You're gonna sit behind there for 10 minutes straight with a four star rating with police. And this is the finale. So if you guys made it this far in the video, please leave that like. Obviously this is my second one of this series because obviously I've got another tr video coming out soon and another like series coming out that's gonna be better than this, but hard to kill. The police want you dead, survive for 10 minutes. And that is the last trophy. I'll talk about something in a second. And there it is, Platinum Trophy. We have unlocked every trophy in Mafia 2. Finally, that took me about a week. So I'm gonna to try to do these video once a week. Obviously, I'm gonna I'm gonna improve week by week with these videos. This is my second one. How did you think I did? I've got a different type of series coming out as well with this one. I'm gonna do different games. I may do bully next. I may do new I'm gonna do new games when they come out, but that is today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't seen my last where I played Alan Newell and got every platinum for that video, it's right on the screen there. Click right here.